So today we'll be starting our next topic, uh, pricing procedure. Now, if you are preparing for the SAP MM certification exam, then you can exclude this topic because this is not a part of the certification exam. However, I'm including this topic in our training programs because this is one of the most important topic. Okay, so whenever uh, you, if you're thinking about appearing for uh, certification exam, then I would advise to double check uh, this topic if it is there in the syllabus for the certification or not and then prepare accordingly. So with pricing procedure, the topics that we'll going, going to cover today, introduction to SAP MM pricing procedure, schema determination, calculation schema, schema group, condition record, condition type, access sequence, condition table. So first of all, we'll start with what is pricing procedure. Now from theory perspective, um, if I need to give you a, first a business example that where, uh, where a pricing procedure will be used. So take a scenario like a vendor's price for a material is often made up of different components. Okay, for example, your vendor may offer to sell you a material at a certain price, but additional factors may affect what you pay like price, discount, surcharge, freight cost, taxes, etc. The conditions are applied in order to arrive at the net and effective purchase price in purchase order. This is controlled via a customized pricing procedure. So in simple words, um, in the real time scenario, when we procuring a material from a vendor, okay, so maybe the material cost could be $100 only, but there could be some additional charges or there could be some additional discount. For example, there can be tax. So depending on the country, we need to pay some 10% tax on that, okay, which is like a service tax or we need to pay for the courier charges or the shipping cost and probably there's a special offer going on and the vendor is providing us some discount. Okay, so maybe the price of the product is only $100. However, the net price may be something else. Net price may be $110, $120 depending on the surcharges, taxes and all that. So to conclude uh, a final a net price, we use the pricing procedure system in our SAP system which will consolidate all the different types of prices and will give you a net price. So as we go further we'll see that. So how pricing procedure works from SAP MM point of view. So theoretically what happens is for example if you have um, uh, if you take this scenario here um, So if you look here, you can see a purchase order. Okay, so theoretically what happens is when you're creating a purchase order for a vendor, okay, and material, so as soon as you enter the vendor number and the material number, system will read the pricing procedure. Okay, first of all, this is the first step that it will be reading the pricing procedure. So it will find that this is the right pricing procedure I need to consider. Then Second step will be, it will be reading the condition types. So these are the condition types. We'll talk about in detail in a minute. So what is the price? What is the discount? What is the rebate? What is the shipping cost, etc. and etc. Okay, it will read all the conditions. So suppose if it's reading the first condition, say price. So first condition will be have uh, the condition type PB00. You can see this is PB00 and this is PB00 here they have a thing called access sequence assigned. Okay, what access sequence is? Access sequence will tell the system where should, should system should look for the price. Okay, so access sequence PB01 is saying that first look at outline agreement. Okay, try to find the price at outline agreement that we have. If you can't find it there, then look at this PIR record at this level. If you cannot find it here, then look at this level or there can be some more levels. So wherever on which level the system finds the price, then if suppose system find the price here, not at number one, then it will copy that price, okay, and it will try to read the condition record or the condition table which is linked to that access sequence. 
Okay, so we'll see that detail in a minute again as I said. And once it will find the price, so whatever the price you have set up, it will give that price back to your purchase order. So that is how it works theoretically. Now we'll go and see in detail what happens in each and every step. So first of all, we'll be starting with calculation schema. Okay, or you can call it pricing procedure determination. What a calculation schema is, is, is a like what, what we call is a pricing procedure, which is a set of different condition types. Okay, and that is a menu path at the bottom that you can see in SPRO to open the calculation schema. So let, let's see practically now. So if I go to SPRO F5, Material Management, Purchasing, and here Conditions, and here Define Price Determination Procedure, Process, and here you can see Calculation Schema. So this is Calculation Schema or you can call it Pricing Procedure. If I open that, and this is a standard one that is used in all the orders. Okay, now before I show you this one, let me open one more screen of uh, uh, SAP and here I will be showing you a existing purchase order. If I call a purchase order here, this one. Now how do you know that what is a pricing procedure in your, in your that is linked to your purchase order? So if you go to the condition tab here, and here you can see all the prices and all that and if you click on this analysis button it will give the detail so you can see here the pricing procedure uses this one RM0000 okay and it has further condition types that is being used okay so for example here you can see that first condition type is PB00 which is gross price if you open that PB00 here it will show you that if where it will find the price okay so similarly um, it's not showing you anything here if you double click on each one and wherever it found the price it will show you the green light there couldn't find any price if the price can be manual as well and same way you can see some gross price if you double click on gross price gross price you can see discount if there was any discount you can double click on that you will see a green light here and like that okay so I'll come back to this one later on again once I will customize my own pricing procedure and I will show you all the green lights and the warning messages so the point to be noted here is the procedure assigned is RM0000 so let me close this one so that is a standard pricing procedure used in our system so select your pricing procedure or what you can call it calculation schema and double click on control data. So here you can see all the different condition types. Okay, you have different condition types. So this one is for gross price and I'll show you the important one. This one is for discount and discount as a, as a value. This one for discount per quantity. You can have a surcharge. You can have surcharge per quantity. You can have a percentage based surcharge like that. Okay, you can have taxes, you can have freight here, so that's a freight, percentage based, value based, or that is quantity based. Okay, you can have custom charges like that. So, okay, so we'll see all, all of them in a minute. So here you can see you have different condition types. Okay, same thing. Um, when I open the purchase order, if I open it again. An item so here you can see gross price cash cash discount or if there's any other, anything else that you are using in your order so these are the condition types okay so we'll discuss condition type in a minute let's first uh, see the theory side of calculation schema okay what